Those periods of waiting and trusting will pay off, and you'll be like the children of Israel, who felt as though they were dreaming when God turned around their captivity. The latter part of Psalm 126 reads, Those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy. They weep as they go to plant their seed, but they sing as they return with the harvest. This shall be your story soon, because the Lord will give you a bumper harvest, be it in your spiritual life, your finances, your academics, your marriage, or about your relationship. You will receive answers to those things that you have been trusting God for. You are just at the brink of success, just one call away from that contract that would change everything about your finances. You are about to strike, so don't let up now. Keep on trusting God, and He will bring it to pass. No matter the doctor's report, you are about to have your miracle baby. You will also experience healing from whatever ailment that you are going through. The Lord will be your help and your salvation. He will bring deliverance quickly from whatever situation you might be going through. Don't give up on God now. Don't lose faith in God. He is about to answer your prayers. He has heard your cries and He is putting things in place for you, arranging everything that's required for that need to be met. Don't ruin your chance by being impatient and running to other people for help. The Bible says that after you have done all, you need the patience to get hold of the reward. Hebrew 10 verse 36 When you walk with God, you don't set the time for Him to perform. Instead, you flow with His timeline, knowing that God's will for your life is the best, and when He says it's time, nothing can stop you or delay your answers. So, know this well, that you can't stampede God into answering your prayers. You don't get to tell God what to do or how to do it. Your part is to pray, believe, and do whatever else you need to do. Look at Abraham in the Bible. God promised that he would make him the father of nations. But for a long time, that promise did not seem to materialize. What did he do? He held on to God's words and his promises to him. He did not consider the fact that he was old or that Sarah was past the stage of childbearing. The book of Romans said that he hoped against hope, and in the end he got the promise. Forget the current circumstances you're facing. Stop looking at what people are saying or what the projections seem to be at the time. The Word of God is infallible and true. He will always come through for you, even at the last minute. He was the one that raised Lazarus from death, even after four days in the grave, when his sister thought that all hope was lost and nothing more could be done. Your case is not difficult for God to solve, but you need to trust Him enough to believe that He will answer you and provide solutions to every one of your problems. Now, the devil will try to get a hold of your mind and tell you to try something else, take a different route or shortcut, and forget about God. He will make you feel as though God has abandoned you and encourage you to throw in the towel. It's up to you to take a stand and not allow him to get to your head. Be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who stood before King Nebuchadnezzar and declared that they were not careful to answer him concerning the issue of bowing to the graven image. They knew that God was able to deliver, and they made it known clearly to the king. One would think that God will show up immediately, but that was not the case. He was waiting for them right in the fire. And maybe that's the same for you as well. You might be going through a particular situation and have chosen to take a stand and wait on God for answers. But the answers are not forthcoming as you would want. Remember that God works in mysterious ways and His ways and thoughts are not usually in line with ours. 
While you might be looking in a particular direction for your answer, God is planning something else for you. Don't lose faith and decide to give up on God. Don't give the devil the upper hand by entertaining any form of doubt in your heart. God knows your ways. He knows what you need. And even if it feels as though you're being thrown into the fires of life, you can be sure that God is right there waiting for you. Your answer might be in the fire. After the night comes the morning, and usually the period before your experience of daylight is the darkest. You might be at that stage right now without realizing it. You're almost at the end of the tunnel, so keep on going. Keep on moving forward. Never stop trusting God. You're about to see the manifestation of everything that you have made. The results are on their way, and they will burst forth very soon. Just like the birth of a child brings joy and gladness to the heart of so many, your prayers are equally pregnant and would deliver results to you very soon. Yes, God never fails, and there's nothing too hard for Him to do. He encourages us to come before Him with all of our needs in the place of prayer. He can provide and make a way for you. He can solve your problems. So just be patient and see how everything works out in your favor. Stop fixing your eyes only on what you can see and start believing God for what He said He will do in your life. Imagine that you've received the answers to your prayers and you will get them. That is the work of faith in your life. It activates things and makes your desires and imagination come to reality. If you can imagine it and you believe it, then you will receive it. That's the faith process. Just think it, and as long as it is in line with the will of God, you will see it come to pass. Sometimes we just need to intensify in prayer. Considering the story of Daniel, where he prayed for 21 days before getting his answer, we see that sometimes God would have answered our prayers, but one thing or another can cause a delay, especially the forces of darkness that want to stand against you and keep you in that bondage or situation you happen to find yourself in. Don't stop praying and you will receive the answers to your prayers. Yes, God is about to answer your prayers. Keep waiting for it in faith. Shalom.